Hi everybody, happy new release day. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and this is 2022 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition, eight box, pick your team number two. All card ship, three prospect autographs per box. Good luck, there it is. Fresh case, so fresh and so clean. Big thanks to everybody here who got into the action. Pick your team two on a Wednesday, the 21st, 2022. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, like Alan, that means you won that spot in the filler. And the last ball mojo star goes to Eric Jennings, Cardinals. There you go. There's, there's Kayshawn right there checking in the chat with the halos. Good luck. And thanks, everybody, for making this happen. All right. So it's kind of heavy. I could probably do workouts with the, these heavy cases here. And away we go. We got Elijah Green, Jackson Holiday on the box. Two of the, two of the uh, three main guys we're looking for. The other guy, and this is Tamar Jackson. Johnson. All card shit. Ryan Harold's here. All right, Ryan's here to keep me company as well throughout this break. So Ryan Harold, um, one of our resident Mets fans out here, Ryan, you've got to be happy about about the Mets just spending oodles of money, snatching Carlos Correa away from my rivals, the Giants. Thank you. Now what's the? But now the expectations have to be sky high, right? I mean, is this World Series or bust? At least in appearance, right? World Series appearance or bust? You know what's even scarier though? I'll tell you something scary. The Mets, in, you know, I know the, the money is the story about how much money they're spending. They have not signed a single player on a qualifying offer. They don't have to give up picks. They haven't made any trades that moved any uh, any youngsters out of the way. They still have a decent farm system. Uh, they have a decent farm system with youngsters coming up the ranks. Like that catcher, Francisco Alvarez, I think. That's a big catching prospect coming up the ranks that he could contribute this year. And guys like Verlander and Scherzer are on short deals. So if that doesn't work out, yeah, spend more money next year and you could probably trade prospects too. Get some guys elsewhere. I like these blackjack parallels here. So these are refractory, but not numbered, by the way, not like Bowman Chrome. All right, so we'll sleeve these up right here. Orioles, that'll be for Jack. And Tamar Johnson, Chrome, will be for the Pirates, that'll be for Chad. We'll sleeve these now and we'll have our, our, uh, our sorting and shipping team top load those before they go out. Obviously, if we find parallels or obviously autos, we'll top load those right away. Oh, we got a Yendri Rojas, purple. Oh, but not numbered. Oh yeah, it is numbered. Come on, Joe, 250.
Yeah, that's correct. My, we were talking about that a little bit earlier today, how the number two prospect, Andrew Jones' kid, will be in Bowman Baseball. I don't think Bowman Chrome, Bowman Baseball, I want to say. So number one is in draft, and then number two isn't just regular Bowman Baseball. Non-draft. And there's our first auto, Drew Gilbert, 41 out of 50, gold auto for Houston. That'll be for Brandon, uh, the late first round pick there. We got Averson Arteaga, that Aqua parallel. We got Colton Kowser to 199, a former fifth overall pick uh, in the 2021 draft. I don't know, the Carlos Correa move is is really the big the big bit of the day, huh? It's for the Orioles, that'll be for Jack. Uh, Mets still spending. They signed infielder Danny Mendick to a one-year, $1 million deal. And the Orioles acquired, uh, oh, here's a Jackson Holiday. Orioles acquired um, James McCann from the Mets. Here's green paper, Jordan Walker to 99. We got a Cade Dowdy. He's fired up. Look at that. 25 out of 150. Blue autograph. Blue Jays. Jack Vane got the Bluebirds in that filler. And we'll obviously, we'll do an autograph recap at the end of the break. No, that's just team color. There's an Elijah Green, a Brandon S. Did it really? Wait, I gotta find another Colton Kowser. Mike Tower saying on the back of that Colton Kowser said he took up woodworking during the COVID shutdown.
Now, if you're a GM, is that something you want to hear from your ball player? That he's handling, he's handling like like table saws and woodworking. There's Mason Barnett to 150, and a Zach. That's pretty neato. 60 out of 71. Zach finding Nito. That's going to be for Kayshawn and the Angels. Speckle autograph. And that is a, uh, yeah, 13th overall pick. First round. Yeah, it took up woodworking during 2020 COVID shutdown. Uh, Mike, what do you what do you think he what do you think he made? What kind of how 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 much of a woodworker is he? You think he was making like furniture or is he? I don't know. What's he doing? Can I buy, if he's making furniture, can I buy his furniture? Can I, can I buy Colton Kowser, a Colton Kowser chair? You know, will, will his name someday be synonymous with, with, uh, with Herman Miller? Right. It's probably not, I mean, those baseball gets too, those baseball bats can get too precise, but if he's that good, Maybe he's hand making his own bats. Oh, I would love it if he was making birdhouses. Mike, that's a good one. Can you imagine? The social media department on the Orioles would love that. Here's Oriole Colton Kowser, who took up woodworking during the pandemic. Uh, can can build you a birdhouse. Get a get a Colton Kowser birdhouse. How awesome would that be? Uh, Rex is saying Rex is he thinks he's building a a what lounger? What what is that? A Barca lounger? A Barca lounger? I don't know what that is. Jackson Holiday right up on top. All those going to Jack and the O's. And the Colton Cowsers, woodworker. Uh, working counts, working with wood. There's Matt McClain. 25 out of 250 for the Reds. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. There's a Tamar Johnson for Chad and the Pirates. And the Jackson Holiday. Let's see if we can find some parallels of those guys. No, I don't think. I, how do you pronounce it? A Barca lounger? A Barca lounger? Oh, they're a, they're a type of recliner. Oh, I wow, those are fancy. I don't think he's, that's, I mean, not, that's not really woodworking, Rex. That's like, I guess that's wood and you, and you got to put leather, upholster it and put all the mechanics in there. I mean, in my head, when it says woodworking, I feel like he's making like, like a cornhole box or something like that. Oh, it's Barca? That's right, Andrew, RIP to Franco Harris. Just ahead of that Raiders-Steelers uh, game, too. 
And we're really going to celebrate him there, but it looks like it's going to be more of a memorial now, a celebration of life, if you will. Nick Offerman is a woodworker? Jack White was an upholsterer before he became a musician? It's random. There's Jimmy Crooks. I'm not a Crooks. To Eric in the Cardinals last spot mojo. Holiday. I think Harrison Ford was a woodworker before he was an actor, right? Before, he still might have been woodworking. Uh, there's Yonski Noel. 83 out of 199 for Cleveland. That's going to go to Mark. I think Harrison Ford was furniture building or something like that. Before he did like, um, ooh, piece of candy. James Wood and Ryan Reckley to 199 before he did American Graffiti, I want to say. Daniel Day-Lewis, a woodworker too? What what did I heard that the other day? What's light the beam, Oliver? What what are they lighting in Sacramento? What beam are they talking about? Huh? The Lakers actually kind of cut the lead a little bit. Ryan Reckley from the Bahamas to one ninety nine for the Giants. That's going to go to Ross. And there's a Zach Nito. That's a Nito hit. Is, it, is this special? Is that a case hit? Is that a short print? What's going on here? Well, that'll go to uh, Keishan and the Angels. Oh, those are one out of every 60 packs? 12 packs per box. That's like what, every... Is that one every case, I guess? Case-ish? And a Trey Lipscomb. 364 out of 499 for the Nationals. It'll be for Brandon. They beat up on the lake, so they, they light the beam. They light a laser beam over Golden One Center. Is that safe? Should they be doing that? Yeah, there was damage done in in the uh, in Northern California. The, yeah, the quake was kind of further up. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. It's further up, it's not. It wasn't in San Francisco. And more, more of the smaller towns up along the coast got affected. A couple deaths, I think. But yeah, but a big six four. That's true. Another carpenter, Joseph. Although I wasn't named after that Joseph. I was named after Old Testament Joseph. Yeah, the 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 green triangle weed is still uh, still okay there. That's still okay. Oh, there's Willem Diaz. Willem Diaz, ninety-eight out of ninety-nine green paper for Peter and my Dodgers.
Ooh, look at that. Jackson Holiday. 54 out of 199. Jack Vane, who bought the O's straight up, gets the number one overall pick. What is that? What is that parallel called? Let's get that. Let's get that right. Bowman Draft Baseball. This would be the autos. All right, J.H. Jackson Holiday. Out of 199, that would be Aqua Lava. And should we try this again? Take two. Oh, here's Justin Campbell as well, blue, to 150 for Cleveland. That's for uh, that's for Mark. Three, two, and that's Jackson Holiday. 54 out of 199, Aqua Lava, on card autograph. Your number one overall pick. Nice one, Jack. Jack, getting the Orioles straight up. Scared money don't make money. You like that, Nancy? And I can clip that, turn it into a YouTube short. What does that go for? Matt Holiday's kid. Must be nice. I'm glad he has a D. I mean, it's not the best autograph in the world. It's not bad though, penmanship wise. You know, there's still some some flair to it. So I appreciate that from your number one overall pick. I mean, think about it. How many superstars do you see with bad autos? Not too many. If you have a nice auto, the chances of you being a star, I think, are better. On the back, does it list his strengths and weaknesses? I don't think it'll list his weaknesses, but it may uh, may talk about his strengths. I mean, if he's anything like his dad, that'd be pretty good, right? Quick-wristed hitter with refined approach. Routinely puts a jolt into the ball. Effortless power. 60-grade runners. He's got some speed. Quick feet plus arm. If we took a holiday, it would be, it would be so nice. It's Jackson Holiday. Holiday.
Oh. And a Zach. That's pretty. That's neato. Another neato. That's for Kayshawn and the Halos. Your 13th overall pick. Oh, yeah. yeah. What, ha what happens if Jackson Holiday gets introduced to woodworking by Colton Kowser, his future teammate, and decides to give up on baseball and do, do woodworking full-time? I mean, hey, listen. You got to do what you love, you know what I mean? And if, if you don't love baseball, if you don't love playing the game, grinding every day, you know, you're not going to be helpful to your teammates. You know, pursue what you love, woodworking. If that's the calling. There's Cade Horton. Purple paper to 250 for Greg and the Cubs. That's what I say. Now, for the sake of Jack Vane, who has the Orioles in this break, I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that Jackson Holiday turns out to be... I mean, his dad had a pretty solid career. If he has a better career than his dad, I mean, that's nice. There's Yoansky Noel. 19 out of 50, the first Noel. Oh, it doesn't have Bowman first. I wish it did. I would have made that. I would have made that bit a little bit better. There's Jordan Beck. Speckle, not number. They'll still ship. And we got Tyler Locklear. Heather's son? 13 out of 4.99. If on the back of the card it says Heather Locklear's son. No. I don't know if you, I don't know even know if they spell it the same. He, uh, Heather Locklear. Heather Locklear going to Darren Porterhouse Steak and the Mariners. There you go. You got a Heather Locklear. No, Tyler Locklear going your way. Hey, you're welcome. Okay, Sean. I missed that comment. Glad, glad you're getting into the action. Appreciate it. Bryson Mounts. 006 out of 199 for Eric and the Cardinals. That's number 96 out of 99, and that is an auto for the Tigers. Jace Young. Is that Josh Young's brother? That goes to Mark Mazur and the Detroit Tigers. Oh, yeah, follows his older brother Josh into pro ball. Ryan Harrell saying sure is, and Jace is supposed to be better than Josh. Here is Kevin Parada for the Mets to 99. That'll be from Mark. Wow, 300 hitter with 30 homer power? I'll take that. 
All right, next box. Josh Young, 12th overall pick. Holiday. It would be, it would be so nice. We got Josh uh, Kasevich. 371 out of 499. Paper for Toronto. It's going to go to Jack. Next time, Jack, write a goddamn memo. What movie is that from? And there's Cole Phillips, 114 out of 150. Right, Hunt for the Red October, but trick question, that's all the Jack Ryan movies. No, I feel like that's mainly in Hunt for the Red October. Is that prime James Earl Jones? <laughs> nice to speak your mind, Jack. One ping, one ping only, Vashili. One ping, one ping only, Vashili. The only Jack Ryan movie you've seen, honestly. If you enjoyed that, I'm like Netflix now. If you enjoyed that, Ryan Harold, then you'll definitely enjoy Clear and Present Danger with Harrison Ford and Patriot Games with Harrison Ford. Wait, which one's better? Patriot Games or, or Clear and Present Danger? In Patriot Games, I think it was next time, Jack, don't be a hero or something like that because he got shot at the beginning of the movie. Non-spoiler alerts at the very beginning. Holiday.
Both are pretty good. Patriot Games and Clear and Presentation, both are both are pretty good. There's Alex De Jesus to 199 for Toronto. It'll be for Jack. Won that team in the team random. There's Jonathan Mejia to 99 and Jacob uh, Misorioski, 22 out of 75. It's for the uh, Brewers. Brewers second round pick going to Frank. And Eric with the Cardinals getting the Mejia. Ryan, what's up? Also, I know I have this break and the case break after, but I'm looking for a Cermak and Simpson for the Rays. If you can find them in there, that would be great. Speaking it into existence. All right. I don't think I've seen, have we seen, even seen base or parallels of those guys? Ooh, is that some red? Or is that a different color here? Logan Tanner, red chrome four out of five for the red legs. Adam Kupperman bought the Reds straight up. Gets the uh, gets the Reds a second round pick, not bad. And out of five, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Nice. Is that the second Reds red today? I wasn't the auto was earlier. These these blue color ones not numbered but all cards ship. All right, we are halfway through the case, about 40 minutes in this one. Probably about another 35, 40 minutes to go on the second half. And I'll take a quick breather and then we'll do the other case, break three. Now, Ryan was mentioning he's on vacation. Who else is on vacation? He's on vacation. What movie's that for? Everyone's got to get this one. He's on vacation. Not back until the third. Nice. Anyone else on vacation? He's on vacation. There you go, Michael. Forrest Gump. Yeah, that's an easy one. Is there a Mr. Gump? Ms. Gump? He's on vacation. Anyone else on vacation? Ryan, I'll be gone for a little bit too. The holidays this year, is, I don't think it's going to, I took advantage of it this year. I think the holidays this year of fall real nicely for me and my weekend so uh, I'm gonna 
think this uh, tomorrow will be my last day before my winter break. Holiday. And I don't think I'll be back until like the third or the fourth. Exactly, Ryan. Exactly. So my usual days or days off are Friday and Saturday. Then I got Sunday, so I already got that day off, which means I don't have to eat up too many vacation days before the, my weekend comes back again. And then there's the first, which is also on a Sunday. And then I just wrap a few more extra days after that. I'm not eating too much vacation time, but and, uh, ending up with a nice little, nice little winter break. Yeah, and Jason will be off for a little bit too, but he's not really, the, the way the, it wraps around for him too, I don't think he's taking off too many actual vacation days as well. No, I do not apologize for vacation days. In fact, I think last year, this time last year, I don't, I, it just so happened that I hardly took any vacation days and I was told this year, Joe, please take your vacation days. And I've got some vacation days that roll over, so I, st I still have vacation days left. I, w I wasn't even able to use all of them this year. I think I still have like, pretty sure I have like a week of vacation that I just didn't use this year. But yeah, it'll be, it'll be really nice to, uh, it'll be really nice to recharge and then start the new year strong. Ooh, redemption. Any guesses on the redemption? Have we seen redemptions out of here? It's a white redemption, so that means that means they were they were waiting as long as possible before they they had to settle for the white redemption. I think that's what that means, because usually you would have the blue ones printed out well beforehand. I'm not doing anything too crazy. So all my family's in Vegas now. My parents officially retired and then they moved to, they retired and moved to Las Vegas. There's Jason Dominguez to 4.99. And here's a Chandler Simpson. This is who Ryan Harold's looking for. One of the guys, did I go through these already? I think so. But yeah, so I'll, I'll be spending time in the sub suburby part of Las Vegas. You know, they downsized, got a little house there, and you know, far enough away from the strip where it's not obnoxious, but close enough where you can still get there pretty quickly. My sister's still out there. I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna stay with my sister so I don't bother my parents coming home at three in the morning after after the blackjack dealer has cleaned me out. So that's that's where I'll be. Uh, that's where all my family stuff will be now. So which is pretty nice. That's an excuse to go to Vegas. I don't mind. Probably end up going five times a year or something like that. Maybe more. suppose the house will pass down to me at some point as well. Hopefully not for a while, but hey, look at this. Okay, Sean, another Neato. That's pretty Neato. Zach Finding Neato. 357 Magnum out of 499. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, Vegas is nicer than than negative degrees. Although one of these days I would like to experience a, a classic, you know, snow-filled Christmas or something like that somewhere. The casinos do have a Thanksgiving Day buffet. Although I don't think I've ever done the buffet for Thanksgiving, but they really, yeah, they, the nicer buffets will usually change menus. I like Polar Bomb. I think it's like a bomb cyclone or something like that. Rex, Rex was the first one to report the, uh, the impending 
bomb of snow. And then purple paper, Zach Nito. Okay, Sean, down to 250. Look at that. We like this guy? You seem to be excited about him. From Miami, first round pick, 13th overall, number 16 prospect in all of baseball, or in the 2022 baseball draft. Two-time Big South Player of the Year. Pronounced leg kick, fast hands, barrels up pitchers. Has a brother. Yeah. All right. Big prospect. All right. Yeah. I guess anyone, anyone in the, anyone in the first round, we gotta like. Oh, sorry, camera. Gosh, I've never known a cold like a, a, a cold like that. Mike Tower, that seems that seems really cold. Uh, in this uh, in these kind of uh, blizzards, there's James Toronto's and another redemption. This one's a 99 for the Cubs. That's going to go to Greg Esfang and Gavin Cross for the Royals. Mark with Kansas City. So two of the three autos were redemptions in this box. One for the Royals. Mark Bissett. And the other behind Eddie's Leonard is... A Max Muncy for the A's. A Bowman Invicta autograph gold atomic parallel. Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Darren Porterhouse steak. A's drafted a Max Muncy once before. And I guess, and then they let him go. Ended up with the Dodgers and found success. Nice, you did call that Invicta. Nice, Ryan Harold. So they were like, we are not making the same mistake. Apparently, though, both Max Muncy have the same birthday. But I think Dodgers Max Money, M Muncy um, is from Texas. And I think A's Max Muncy, who's a lot younger, is from California. But not young enough where Dodgers Max Muncy would have been the inspiration for his name. I suppose the alliteration makes it nice, right? There's like M, M, and then X, Y, you know, at the end of the names. Max Muncy just looks nice. Does look nice. So the Porterhouse Steak with the Max Muncy A's edition. Muncie birthday rhymes hard enough if you try it. Muncie birthday, Muncie birthday. Right, that could be the next Star Wars, Star Wars, the Max Muncie Clone Wars. Revenge of the Max. Just call it Max Wars. Coming soon to a theater near you. In a world where Max Muncy's are not just one, but many. Max Muncy, beyond the Thunderdome. Mad Max Muncy.
I stumbled onto uh, onto the movie uh, Oblivion last night. I remember, everyone remember the movie Oblivion with Tom Cruise and Morgan Freeman. It's Cole Phillips 199 paper. It's pretty good. Story's a little basic, but the but acting is good. Visually, it looks great. A little bit of a twist. There's a Christopher Pacciola. It'll be for the Cubs. That's going to be for Greg Esfang. Mike Tower's oblivious to oblivion. Um, for for fans of the uh, music group M83, right? I guess he's a solo musician, maybe. Uh, I think M83, along with some other dude, uh, did the score for it. So the, the music is really cool. Score is really cool if you're into that sort of thing. Justin Campbell to 50. I feel like there's another movie with a similar name with Natalie Portman. Holiday. I think of that movie. Um, I think she's part of like this, this sort of in the near future special forces army team that investigates a an anomaly on Earth, which I think is some sort of something that bends space and time. And they go and investigate it, and teams that go in don't come back out, and mysterious things happen in this world. Gets to be a bit of a mind bender at the end. Ooh, this is not a mind bender. This is an out of five. Four out of five. Red paper. Jackson Job. Nice. N number forty nine prospect according to Baseball Prospectus. Your third overall pick by the Tigers. That's nice. Tiger uppercut. Mark. With Detroit, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And we got a Trey Dombrowski the third. Is Trey his real name or do they call him Trey because he's the third? 97.99 to the back of the baseball card. It doesn't really say. But that's for the Astros. That's going to go to Brandon. Yeah, but Joe, does Job know anything about woodworking uh, like our friend Colton Kowser here? Yeah, Jackson, you might be the third overall pick, but do you know woodworking? Like Colton, I want to buy. I want to buy a chair from him someday. You know, you think he'll build some custom furniture for me? It'd be nice. You know, does he also paint? Who knows? Can I see the dovetailing work before before I buy? Does he have a website? Does he have an Instagram where he's selling this furniture? So many questions. You know, does he does he work with what kind of wood does he work with? Maybe is it like re reclaimed wood from that'd be kind of cool. Get an old door. 
Or turn it into a table or something like that. That'd be pretty neat. Get some old iron bits, put that on that table. Give it a sort of rustic farmhouse look. Sure. You know, or is he more working more with, uh, you know, maybe, maybe he's got wood and maybe more glass work is happening there. I don't know. I don't, I just don't know. Is it more tables? Is it chairs? Stools? What's he doing here? There's Elijah Green to 250 heir apparent for Brandon the Nationals. Right? Or do you think he's, I mean, or do you think he's just exaggerating for social media? There's Jacob Marcy for the Padres. That'll be for Devin. De Devin, you got a lot of symbols next to your name. So Devin, you got a rooftop next to your name. That means you won the extra spot in the filler. Then you won a spot in this. And then you got randomized the Padres in the team random. Some good parlaying there. Right, yeah, what if it's just him in a wood burning tool? Like he's not really actually working with wood. He's just he's just calling it woodworking for the gram, you know? Like I was like, oh yeah, I got it's, it's woodworking. But it's really not. Like he bought a table saw and I says And then Bowman is like, hey, you wanna we need something for the back of the baseball card. Uh, what'd you do with the pandemic? It's like uh I got a I got a table saw, so I, I Got a table saw. And then the copywriter's like, all right, so Colton Cowser took up woodworking during the COVID pandemic. Where, where, is he, where is he from? Where does he live? You know, he's from Houston, Texas. Maybe there's an outdoor space there. So some of you remember, uh, especially if you visit the shop, some of you may remember Thomas. And he's back uh, from college on the winter break to, uh, you know, make a little spending cash, put in a couple hours at Jaspi's, help us out while some of us are on vacation or whatnot. But, um, so he's back, we were chatting a little bit. Now I've got, I'm, I'm got, I got to thinking, because we're like, hey, his base, baseball season's coming up, starts like in February. College baseball season, February through May-ish, around there. You know, I mean, these, these guys, he's feeling healthy, he's feeling good, he's feeling confident, he's working out every day, you know, he likes his teammates and likes school. He's actually doing well in school. He was surprised about that. His classes are going well and, you know, so he's grinding, he loves it. You know, we're, we're like, hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves, but you know, what's like the what's the process here? You know, so yeah, just just pitch the season and see what people you know, see what people think in the summer. If I get drafted, cool. If I don't, then I think you can do another year. I think he got all sorts I mean, because he was right right in the middle of the pandemic, he missed like a year or two, and I think NTAA, I think, gave him a couple extra years. So, guys at Hidge, I think he's a little bit older than some of the other guys. So, anyway, I remember a while back he was just like, "Man, it would just be cool to get into a, a Bowman set. Would be awesome." Then I got, then now I'm thinking, now we got to think about the back of the baseball card, right? So I wonder if, if he, if up close, you know, maybe you get. Actually, Thomas is a Yankees fan. He grew up as a Yankees fan, you know, and worked at a sports card uh, and collectible shop, Jaspi Sports Cards and Collectibles in Hermosa Beach, California. I would love that. I would love that. You know, we may have to, we may have to slip a little money in his pocket or or the, the boss man might have to pull some strings at tops or something like that to to try to get a little uh, Jaspi representation on the back of the card. Holiday.
Yeah, I take that too. There's Jackson Curio, nice to four ninety nine. I would take the instead of at Bowman's cards, you know, Thomas goes, Hey, put at Jaspie's brakes there. I would love that. It's Frank with the Brewers. I suppose we have to pay him, right? Some sort of compensation. Hey, we got a Kumar Rocker. Kumar Rocks. That goes to Jack Vane and the Rangers. Jack won that in the team random filler. Nice. Oh, that's right. Yeah, hey, reset that. What happened there, Ryan? Because Ryan Harold, Mets guy, is like, kick rocks, Kumar. He was drafted by the Mets, but he didn't want to sign? Or did the Mets find something in the medical? Oh, he failed his physical. Now, did it, did it ever come out what led to his failed physical? Because I want to say then Kumar... Rocker, I seem to suggest that he was fine and that it was over-exaggerated. Apparently the Rangers, with the third overall pick, didn't seem to mind. 35 out of 50, Roderick Arias. Nice. Yankees, Adam Kupperman. Oh, it was an elbow issue. Oh, and that was under the old regime, new regime doesn't care. See, Correa. Yeah, exhibit A, Carlos Correa. And Cade Doughty, 242 out of 250. Is that Drew Doughty's brother? Goes to Jack in Toronto. Let's see. Let's go up close. No. But that'll go to Jack in the Blue Jays. Termar goes to Chad in the Pirates. I don't think we've seen any parallels of him. Maybe we can find that in this last stack or the next box. There's Logan Tanner. Mike Tower, you think a woodworker would need a tanner as well? Maybe if you're also working with some leather, maybe, for a nice little, uh, nice little love seat. Holiday, if we took a holiday, it would be, it would be so nice. 
Jackson Holiday. Another one for the Orioles, Jack. And the Yeedy Cap to 250. All right, final box. Good luck. Final three autographs. And guess what? After this, this is Pick Your Team 2. After this, we got Pick Your Team 3 coming up. Oh, I better hurry. It's getting late. I wish these cards weren't like right side up and upside down and flipped around. Make the break go a little bit faster. Pro tip for next time, or maybe for Bowman. How to look out for the group breakers. Holiday. Another paper, yeah. Just got kind of late, Ryan. But we do those recaps at the you can even you can even skip to the recap. Yeah, even on vacation it's still late. I get it. It's all good. There's Mike Romero to four ninety nine. Mike Tower will stay up late with me. We'll, we'll talk about woodworking in the next case, too. Right, Mike? <laughs> Might be getting late for Mike, too, actually. Yeah, I haven't seen too many rays here, so maybe they're just like in Super Mario Brothers where the princess always seems to be in the nether castle. Maybe we'll find some rays in the next case. If we took the Jackson holiday, whoa, whoa. Ooh, a Mikey Romero, class of 2022, autograph card, 244 out of 250 for the Red Sox. Mark with the Red Sox. That's right. You got to take multiple ABs looking for the hits. These are kind of cool. These are the uh, Invicta cards. We saw that redemption where some of these can be autographed too. Tamar Johnson for the Pirates. That's going to go to Chad. Holiday. Christopher Pacciola, Aqua Lava for the Cubs, that'll be for Greg. Chrome Jackson Holiday, 
Jack and the Orioles. We've got Austin Hendrick to 199 for the Reds. That'll be for Adam. And Jet. Woo, 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 Jet. And that's for the Mets. Mark with the Mets with the Jet Williams. I think Ryan was saying earlier, what, one out of every 60 packs? Something like that. So pretty short printed. Ryan Harold, correct, confirmed. We got Brenner Cox, 10 out of 4.99. Some nice Cox right here. Fourth round pick. Brandon with the Nationals. Some Cox going your way. How big is this Cox? 6'3, 195. That's a solid Cox size. That's what I was looking for. There's like a that pattern there where the anyway. Green paper, Eric Brown Jr. to 99. 15 out of 99 for the Brew Crew. 27th overall pick. That will be for Frank. Are we looking for one more auto? Is this it? No, but that's Luis Angel Acuna. Ronald's brother to 150. Mike, you're thinking hoping the Nationals know how to use that Brenner Cox. And another angel, Victor Medros, 146 to 199. That'll be for Kayshawn and the Halos. Aqua Lava, our third and final autograph of the box, our final autograph of the break. Thanks everybody. Let's see what's here at the very end. And that, and a Termar Johnson, that my friends, is that. That was 2022. Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition, eight box, pick your team number two. A lot of nice color in this break. Red Paper, Jackson Job, four out of five. The Max Muncy Redemption, Gavin Cross, Logan Tanner. Chrome, four out of five. Jace Young, some Nito autographs. Some gold, some Jackson Holidays, two. Aqua Lava and a base auto. What a break. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.